Welcome back everybody, it's your boy Sleepy Boy here back at again with another Corrupted Kingdoms episode. If you're new to this channel, please smash the subscribe button, like, comment, share with your friends and loved ones. If you're not new, please feel free to watch this video up to the end or watch my other videos. <coughs> Excuse me? But yeah, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna talk to Chastity about what's happening, what's popping, about that last key. Chastity, we need to talk. Oh, so serious, little brother. Whatever can have now. Very well. It looks like even she doesn't know what those dimensions or worlds are. Well, little brother, what is it that burdens her heart? Was the key not a success? Did you not find anything? Oh, I found something, alright. A dead world. No, not dead. Shattered. A world in which life had been obliterated. Obliterated. Oh, what the hell, Sleepy? You're adding letters that are not there. <laughs> Wiped out so thoroughly that not a single speck of life was left. Sorry, I had to like... Yeah, I'm like changing the, the parts here. The There we go. There we go. Is this working? It should work. Alright. Is that what your unspoken promises, Chastity? A world stripped clean of life. A world with its heart ripped out. So I was right. What was that? It is, it, it is normal to feel a little discomfort with your mission, little brother. Let me also change the mic. Um, there we go. Even I once struggled, but now I know my purpose. It is difficult. But I will hold my course, whatever may happen to me. You must trust me on that, little brother. I will do what is necessary. If you think I'm going to trust you or your kind for one second after what I've just seen, I have promised that no harm will come to you, little brother. I hold to my purpose. What the hell does that? And you must hold to your purpose as well. Although, perhaps there is something we may do to help you with your anxiety. Sister, come. Sister, you have summoned me. Whoa, F. Chastity, if this is one of your... Calm yourself, little brother. She is here to be useful, aren't you, sister? Oh, yes, sister. Am I to help this one? You see, she has found her true purpose with us. Please, sister, please let me help this one. Everything sings when he is near. Everything? What? Listen, if she's about to start sprouting tentacles... Oh no, little brother, she's here merely to help motivate you. Oh shit. Oh yes, please, use me, master. Let me help you. And this is where I cut the video, everybody. Play with this body. Fill me with your. Okay. Let me. Alright, sure. Music. Chastity, what the hell is she talking about? I don't know. She's never behaved like this before. Ahem, well, in any case, please make use of her to relieve her stress. I'm told she has a very talented mouth. Well, I'm not doing that, fam. Sorry. Oh, little brother, always so incorruptible, as, as though what you do is any better. That's not... You are perfectly safe. I have promised that I will never let harm come to you. Oh, sure, all those times with the bees, it was, what, looking for cuddles? The beast is... It is uncontrolled. That's bullshit, you know it. It's control, alright, and you know who's doing it. Goodbye, Chastity. But did the brother, the mission? I'll think about it. Um, so what did you say? Nothing useful. So like, what now? Now? Now I need to talk to Gramps. Alright, we're getting somewhere. I'm getting a text from Gwen. Leather, leather dude, Texas, man. I don't, I don't give a damn. She was way more creepy when we weren't really, you know, giving her the time to, like, ease her mind or something. Yup, there she is. Crazy, right? Exit. Train station. We're gonna talk to the Grams here, but everybody might be saying, why are we going to this Eldritch thing? Well, it's one of the clues that I have. And... 
Um, talking to Chloe right now is a little bit that uh, we need two days or a couple of days maybe to give time. I don't know. I don't know how this works really. Let's see. Gramps. We can also go to the lake and like increase our insight, I guess. Maybe mention the lake in the mountains is very quiet. Gonna need the witch's help. Interesting. So we could increase our magical thing, I guess. Work at the, at the farm or find someone really strong. So Chloe, I guess. Talk to Gramps. I need your advice on the lead. Of course, my boy. All right, Aldrich. Such a dour face, my boy. What's troubling you? Something happened with that last key that Chastity gave me. So that's what happened. Ah, yes. That poor dead place. One of my biggest regrets, my boy. One of your... You know about that world, don't you? How? And what was all that stuff about? Not yet, my boy. What? What do you mean, not yet? Gah! You have to walk before you can run. I've been doing nothing but running since I got here. Gah! That's true, my boy. Very true. Well then, let's say you have to grow your wings a bit more before you can fly. With everything else that's happened, I really hope that's not literal. Hey, what's wrong with having wings? You should, like, be so lucky. I feel like we're getting off track. Gah! Relax, my boy. Everything will be fine. So everything I saw in that world, I shouldn't be worried? Oh no, that you should be very worried about. But you just said... Uh... So what do I do? Go back to Chastity and tell her stuff her keys? Try to shut down the Nexus doors? Invest in a really big gun? What? The Eldritch aren't something you can fight, my boy. Gee, that's encouraging. It would be like trying to fi fist fight the concept of, of insanity. It'll only drive you crazy faster. What happened in that world that was in a war with the Eldritch? That wasn't even their big fellow. That was just one of the, his tendrils. It was probably bored and a little, well, hungry. Isn't a concept they understand really, but... Yeah, it was probably peckish. Jesus, that entire world had its heart ripped out by one bored, slightly hungry tendril of the Eldritch. I'm afraid so, my boy. You can't fight it, you see. So what do I do? Gah! <laughs> Play nice with a pretty nun, my boy. What else? What? And help her do, 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 do to this world what happened to the other? Fuck, Gramps. Have you gotten senile? Or, well, more senile anyway? Gah, I never said help her, my boy. Just play nice. You can't fight the Eldritch, but you might be able to mislead them. And if you find this door they're looking for, well, it'll be nice to know which one in particular needs locking, hmm? That's true, I guess. Huh. So basically, I have to pit my wits against a physical embodiment of fractured chaos with the fate of the world on the line? Great! What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. It's crazy. We started out uh, We started out with getting these cool supernatural powers and then we're going to Eldritch territory. And now we're... Yeah, we're literally building our own corrupted kingdom. <laughs> I have faith in you, my boy. Besides, this is only the warm-up. Warm-up? How the hell is this a warm-up? <laughs> I've said too much already. Don't let it bother you, my boy. Now off you go. It's not nice to keep a lady waiting, you know. I hate you, Gramps. <laughs> Once more, onto the breach. Onto the breach, I guess. Okay, I guess we're good there. We go go to the lake, meditate once again. Yay, night, na yay, na nap time! You know what? Sure, nap time. I'm just rolling with it now. Yay! And she's falling asleep on a rock. Alright, time to find a comfy spot. Should be used to this by now. It's all about letting go. Just let go and let thoughts wash. Hey, it's our logo. It's the sleepy, sleepy boy logo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why is dreaming? You have an epiphany. Aha, I got it. Oh, sorry. I, I like went back. Appear weak when you are strong and strong when you are... Oh. Wait. God damn it, Karina. Do you have to do this every... Huh. Karina? What's that sound? What the... Go, 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 go! You goddamn... Oh, Sam, no! Push, push them back! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! What... What the hell is happening? They must learn. Learn the consequences of their apathy, of hiding their natures, of hiding from the world. They lie to each other to themselves. Lies upon lies. They hide themselves away. 
I will show them. I will bring them into the light. Even if I must set a fire so big it burns them. Hold on, sis. I got you. I might actually do a black and white on this one. Medic, for the love of God! Medic! Hold on. Oh, please hold on. We promise you'd go home together. Sis, please. Oh, God. Karina, is, is that you? Why are you doing this? There must be no more mistakes. No more weaknesses. Dreams are mirrors of the truth. They cannot be a sanctuary from reality. I think they can be a bit of both. And this is just me taking a uh, take stealing a book from the Sandman, you know, from Netflix or from Neil Gaiman's uh, novel. Was it novel? I forgot. I forgot. Was it a novel or comic? Either way, same thing, or not. That dreams can be a place of hope in which you hope to be the bet a better thing, a better reality, better you, better whatever, or nightmares that can show you your fears. And if you do overcome said nightmares, you might learn or maybe gain some kind of confidence. Even if it's just like less than a percent, that's something, right? Okay. It is in dreams that we learn what we truly value, who we truly are. Do it! Kill her! Pull the trigger! I can't! I, I can't! She's a traitor! Kill her! I can't! I can't! I, I can't! I won't! No, 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 wait! You see how they discover their true selves and push their limits. Their dreams become a proving ground. They are tested, forged. They awake knowing a little more of who they are and then they sleep and are tested again. How long have we been doing this to them? Every night. Every night until they learn, truly learn who they are, what the consequences of apathy are. Until they understand and begin to change their world for the better. Every night I show them what might be so that they may ensure it never is. Karina? No, I am her enforcer. I do what must be done because she cannot. So that's what this is about. Karina felt bad about that world of dreamers so she created you. She created nothing. I have always been. It is only now she has found the strength to let me out. You're killing these people all because you feel guilty? Kill? I kill no one. They may die in dreams a thousand times, a hundred thousand. Their mortal bodies continue to draw breath. You could give them a heart. You could give them heart attacks. They can't handle this kind of stress indefinitely. They can. They can. They will. They have to. They must learn. They must all learn. You're afraid that what happened to the world dreamers will happen again. Listen, maybe what happened there could happen here. Maybe not. But this... This isn't the way to make sure it doesn't. Yeah, this is effed up, man. You're not thinking clearly. You're afraid. It's clouding your judge. Don't you see? Don't you understand? I can do anything to them here. Teach them lessons in fear and pain and blood until... You're torturing them. I'm saving them. I'm showing them their most primal selves. Stripping away their layers of apathy. Forging them in fear. If dreams cannot be a paradise for them, then they shall have to create paradise in the waking world. But first, they must be stripped down. Stripped bare. Ah, uh, Karina? Don't you see? Can't you feel it? The raw, pulsing emotion of their illusions torn away from them. They have nowhere to hide from themselves. Nowhere to run except towards themselves. I can do whatever I like to them. Anything at all. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel that power? I know you can. Come revel in with, with me. Feel their animal nature swarming around us, their fears, their desires. Show them the pleasures of embracing your true nature. Show them, show me. She's pretty hot, but at the same time, never stick your ding dong in crazy chicks. You're losing your grip, Karina. I don't know what the hell's going on here, Karina, but I want no part of it. I'm saving these people, you'll see, then you'll come back to me. When you've seen, when you've learned. Karina, what the hell is happening to you? First a secretary, now an enforcer, and this latest aspect isn't exactly stable. I really hope she's going to be okay. Apart from anything else, I don't want to know what would happen if the Empress of Dreams went insane. Karina's love has increased by one. Wow, that was easy. You feel like you've gained a deeper understanding. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Did you like have a nice nap? I sure did. Uh, hey, are you like, okay? You look weird. I'm fine, honest. You don't have to worry. Hmm.
I guess we can just keep meditating. Like, let's max out our meditation. Asler, Asler, wake up! Let me guess, someone's pregnant. Huh? What? What's that? Hey, come on, wake up, it's happening! Who's- is- Madison's having the baby. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? Everything's wonderful. And say hello to your daughter. Oh my goodness. Madison Asler. Ma- Mashler. Mashley. <laughs> what the heck? I like it. You better be. So what now, Dad? Do you have to take her to the daycare? Alright. Okay, I'll, I'll miss her very much. Mash, yeah, I, th I think that's okay. Now, where is that maid of mine? I need to send her out to buy a toy store. <laughs> Damn, they still have money. Asler, wake up. Asler, huh? What's happening? We hey, come on, wake up. We gotta go. What? Go where? Oh my god. I don't have enough names for these people, man. I'm here, Veronica. Asher, I mean, you're here. Where, how did they even give birth, man? They just, they're, not going to, they're, they're not going to the hospital, clearly. Everything's fine since you're here. You can stop standing there with your mouth open. Veronica. Uh, Veronica. What's he? Uh, Anastasia? That's a long-ass name. Veronica, Veronica. I guess we could call her Valentine. That's way easier. I guess, hmm, I guess it's not ter terrible. All right then, Valentine. It's uh, nice to meet you. Shut up. So what now, Dad? Okay, yep. It's just every chance to get. I just want to make sure you're not screwing him up. Okay. Wait, it's a he? Whoa! Oh yeah, Valentine works. It's, it's like a, it's a, it's like a dude and a female name. So yeah, we got this. Sounds like he agrees. You can see him anytime he want. Be good now. Now where's that maid? I need to send her out shopping for hundred crates of diapers. Wow. Let's leave the dojo back to the lake, man. We're focusing on Karina. Karina is getting more and more unstable. I'm not sure meditating is a very safe thing to do right now. I should visit Karina in her dimension before I try meditating again. Oh, wow. Can we like... What about the hot springs? More training. You understand that usually I would never consider letting an outsider participate in one of my girl's missions. However, given that you are the protege of the old man and considering your performance when you first arrived here, well, I believe you deserve special consideration. I'm honored, I think. Hmm. So what exactly is this mission? Girls? Yes, Mrs. Sawano. There is a certain scroll that has found its way into the wrong hands. And you'd prefer that it found its way into yours? You are a quick study. What I require from you is that you direct my girls in the fulfillment of their mission. They are to do exactly as you instruct. I wish to observe your unorthodox, unorthodox methods in practice. What? But but Mr. Sawano, an outsider. I will brook no argument in this matter. No any of your nonsense, Masako. You will do as you are instructed with the decorum and professionalism I expect from you. Yes, Mr. Sawano. Well, this is going to be fun. A ninja mission. Okay, here we are. Mistress, Mr. Serrano said you were supposed to lead us so... Okay, let's think about this. It's hard to see in this light, but... There seems to be dogs out front, clothesline above the courtyard. Back of the house is pitch black. I can't see a damn thing. Hmm. So, Daddy, what do we do? Hmm, I think, I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, sneak around the back, man. Okay, let's try this. A few moments later... Okay, looking good. Security's weak back here. Should be able to get in relatively easy. Just got to move quickly and quietly. Don't get spotted by any. Daddy! Oh, wait, wait. Daddy! Up, up ahead. Guards, got to take them up quietly. 
Wait, they look like organization goons. Are we stealing from the organization? What should we do with them, daddy? Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, man. No, no, no. We can't kill them. We're trying to be make sure that the organization isn't too alert. You know, like, oh, no, we got we got stolen. Our stuff got stolen, but nobody died. So I guess it's okay. What the? Good job, girls. Now, where's the scroll? This way. Mr. S Mr. Serrano had blueprints of the estate. Of course she did. I shouldn't be surprised. Okay, here it is. We got it. Good work. Hmm, like he really did any work. Just grab the scroll so we can get out of here. Huh. Okay, come on. Let's go. Aw, they look so peaceful. Shh, easy does it. Don't want to mess everything up now when the finish line's in sight. We, we know that. Shush, Masako. We did it. We did it. Phew. That was surprisingly easy. I guess you did okay. I'm... Um, Alright, screw it. Huh? What? Oh, they're here. That's a wonderful idea. So naughty. What? No! We have to get back to Lady Sawano with the scroll. That's a good point, Hattie. But on the other hand... So looks like I'm gonna cut this part right here. I'll be seeing you soon. Welcome back, everybody. You run off into the night. Yep, welcome back to the game. Pulling up your pants as you go. You, you idiots! Congratulations on your mission. I hear it was a great success and the scroll is now rightfully back in our hands. Hmm, the girls certainly seem to enjoy working so closely with you. Regardless, I am most pleased. I may even have some more work for you in the future. Stop by another time and we shall see. You feel as though you learned a lot observing the Konoichi in action. Marshall has increased by one. Alright. We are almost max, man. Magical, we should increase that with licks, I guess. But I'll do that in another episode. Okay, leave the train. Uh, Manor. Nexus. It's a weird feeling. And let's go to Karina. I hope she's let's let's hope she's feeling better now. Yeah, yeah, we all hope so. She is the root of dreams. Here goes nothing. Hey Karina, just checking in on Huh? This again. That's probably not a good sign. Lights. Yup, this again. Karina. Hey Karina. Lost in her studies again. This whole thing with the dreamings really seem to have gotten to her. Is that one of the dreaming dioramas? This isn't good. Hey, Karina. Earth to Karina. Huh? Oh, what do you want? Charming. I just came to check up on you. All oh, right. Thanks. Sorry. Are you okay? You seem upset about something. And after last time, they hate me. Huh? It doesn't matter what I do. When I give them dreams of ecstasy, they turn away from me and build their paradise machines. When I give them dreams of test and fortune, they curse my demesne and turn away from me again. Well, maybe if you... No, it doesn't matter what I do. None of it matters. I just want... Ah, uh, look. Come see this. See what? Ah, uh, I really hate that. Back in the dreamings, huh? Please tell me you were just going to look at the bubbles from here. No, of course not. Now where was... Ah. Listen, I don't really need to see for... Ah. Uh, 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 I really wish you'd stop doing that. So... Uh, 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 where exactly are we this time? Oh, some mud ball somewhere? Does it matter? I guess not. And what did you want me to see? This. What is some sort of royalty? I don't get it. What is she? Some kind of queen and her subjects a royal hearing? Or this world is squalid, dirty. The poor live in mud huts and barely manage to eke out a living while the rich rule from castles high above them. Sounds like Earth's medieval period, kinda. But when they dream, they dream of the world as they think it should be. Noble queens, brave king, shining beacons of hope and mercy. This is how they think royalty should be. Uh, Karina, maybe we shouldn't get too close. Relax, I froze them. They don't know we're here. Oh, well, that's good. And also a little spooky. But why are you showing me this? They seem happy. They're not building machines or killing each other. Because this is how they see the royalty of their dreams. They're dream queens. Listen to them. 
My loyal subjects, the great beast is dead, driven back by my beloved husband, your king, Queen Anastasia. We love you, Queen Anastasia. Thank God we didn't name someone Anastasia. Your magic save our crops. Your soldiers rescued my children. My dear, dear subjects, I love you all. Queen Anastasia! This is why they don't like me. I'm no queen. This is what they want, what they dream of. But you're quite literally the queen of dreams. But I, I don't look like a queen. Don't know how to act like one either. What? That's nonsense. Is it? Look at her. Really look. See how everyone gazes at her. She's beautiful and elegant and refined and... And she's everything I'm not. Karina. You know, Aster's been right about me all along. I'm not a queen. I'm, I'm shabby. I'm uncout. Oh, stop whining. Did you really drag me all the way out here just so you could throw a pity party for yourself? You're the queen of dreams. Who the hell cares if you're not a leggy blonde with a psychopathic fan base? You, co you control the dreams of the universe. Get over yourself. Suck it up and enjoy it. Suck it up? Enjoy it? You have no idea what you're talking about. I hear them. Every sleeping thought of every living creature crashing against my mind like an endless tide. Every second of every day. It won't stop. It won't ever stop. Karina. You want to know how they see me? You want to know what I hear from them every time they get it, catch a glimpse of me in that moment between sleep and waking? Behold! Oh! What is that? Monster Demon! It's it's hideous. Oh, come on. She's not that hideous, man. Run! Everybody run! Your queen of dreams, Karina. Every time. Every time they see me. Monster. Evil thing. Succubus. I know what I am, but I don't know. I don't want to hurt anyone, really. I don't. I just, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Nassler? why does nobody love me? I, Karina, well that could have gone a lot better. She's hurting more than I realize. This isn't just about the dreamies. This goes deeper. But why is all this coming up now? She's been the queen of dreams for millennia, hasn't she? If I want to get a deeper insight into what's going on with her, I guess I need to meditate at the lake again. Oh, that's a weird feeling. Okay, I guess let's go to the... Stop exploring. Alright. Alright, this is the Karina episode. Let's get it. Train station. Buy a ticket to the mountains. Karina is getting more and more unstable. I'm not sure meditating is very safe. I should visit Karina in the gym before I try meditating again. What? But the things told me. What? The nanny? Oh, great. Leave, leave, leave. Uh, manor. Bedroom. Sleep. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do next. Exactly. Okay, let's just talk to Chastity to end this video. Okay, I should. Huh? Someone's talking to Chastity. She doesn't look happy about it either. I've never seen Chastity look so subdued. Maybe I can get closer and hear what they're saying. Shit, she's leaving already. I didn't even get a good look at her face. Oh well, doesn't change what I'm here for. I need to talk to Chastity. Hey, Chastity, I'm back. But I don't want you to think that it's because of... Uh, Chastity? Hello? Oh, little brother, I'm sorry. I was thinking about something. So I see. It must have been important. Was it something to do with that nun that just, that just left? That? Oh, oh, no, no, no. That's nothing for you to concern yourself with, little brother. Right. So anyway, I guess you want to go into the back room for the next thing you open doors with. Why do you say it like that, little brother? Uh, I was being clandestine? He... Your discretion is appreciated, little brother. But as you can see, there's nobody in the church right now. Oh, yeah. The church is empty just when that nun turns up. That's not a coincidence. So your key... This one wouldn't require secrecy even if the church were currently full. It's not an action this time. So what is it? You simply have to think backwards. Okay, what the hell? Uh, do what now? Think backwards, little brother. I'm afraid that's all the information I have about it for you. Well, that's odd, but sure. Okay, think backwards. Got it. I guess it's not really any weirder than anything else I've been doing. Think. I. I don't. I, how do you think backwards, man? I can't even. 
What? That's interesting. I guess I'm gonna end it here in the kitchen right here. I'll be seeing you in the uh, next episode of Corrupted Kingdoms. And hopefully everybody stays safe. Keep on doing what you're doing. The hustle, I guess. Uh, good luck on whatever you're doing right now or in the future. Bye!